Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Metro Last Light. In the last episode we escaped from the Nazis just barely, and then we sort of started creeping through these weird caves full of horrible like spider scorpion creatures that are awful. And uh, we now are making it pretty close to the theatre station. Now I'm pretty sure we read through this in the last episode so we'll just get into it. Chuvak, we are here. Pull yourself together. We don't have so what have we actually got? Right, yeah. we have the bastard gun with a suppressor and a okay. night vision scope. With a collapse, the, only way to reach the, escalator, the shotgun thing and a pistol. Right. Is cross the surface. And trust me, we don't want to be caught Whoosh. out here in the fucking dark. Love it. I, I love the whole like fire. Thing. We're in luck, Artyomage. This place seems lived in. Ranges Ooh. probably. I don't know. Hello, and you know. <clears throat> Since the day we ended up in the metro, I've gone up to the surface only a few times. The background radiation is too high there, so frequent ventures out translate into grave illnesses to those brave enough to attempt them. One has to stay constantly alert on the surface. The pollution tends to be uneven. There are hot spots which could dole out a lethal dose of radiation in a matter of minutes, while some places could actually be habitable if not for, for the monsters and unbearable gloominess. The eye can't discern between a safe place and a hot spot. You have to use a Geiger counter. You can't go out to the surface without a gas mask either. We used to own the earth. Today, although I still remember that summer day in the gardens with my mum, or mom, uh, if you're American, I almost can't believe it actually happened. I can't believe I used to live in one of those tall houses and could look up at the sky every day. It's as if Metro was always my home, but I still miss that world we lost. And when there are rangers? Short on fielders. We'll have to make do. Okay, I mean, I've, I've, got a, I've got a key for something. Um, gas mask, yeah. It's got a nice crack in it. <laughs> that would not fill me with confidence. Actually, it's got cracks hey, all Dick, over it. I could use a good watch like yours. Knowing how much air you got left is a must, huh? Whoosh. I love that. I love being able to just walk around and just, like, cook all these spiderwebs. It's fun. Um, yeah, I don't know what that key was for. We have no further business here. Let's move forward. Well, maybe you have no further business here. But I found a key, and I'd like to know what that key is for. So, let's move. Possibly for that box... Maybe? I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's, yeah, let's get out of here. Thank you. You know, I've heard of things roaming around that even bullets can stop. You Ooh, have been hello. Shit, I know, but not Aha, ha, is it coming. for this? Oh, it is. Remember, nice. If you want to live, don't drop oh, I got some special bullets. I got, okay. I got good, high-quality bullets. Excellent. Wow, the frame rate is really inconsistent here. You guys may not notice it, but I definitely do. Whoa, that's impressive. Ooh. I heard that's about this very place. bright. That plane was headed into Moscow when the whole city caught fire. Uh, the building where it crashed, that's the entrance to the theater. The ice is towing up here. It's almost like spring, huh, Maybe we'll wait to see the sun. Wait, 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 there's got to be another... Speed rays. Oop, another filter. Don't mind if I do. Okay, we could walk down the wing here. Sure, okay, sure, so Pablo. for the sun. Those clouds moved in fast. Ooh, yeah, wow. No, moved in fast is an understatement. They were just non-existent. I mean, isn't rain... Oh wait, shit, I'm using good bullets. Oh, when did I put those in? Whoops. Let's put the crappy ones back in. No, those are the good ones. Hold up, hold up. Okay, no, those, those are the shit ones. Uh, Pablo? 
Like, I'm ready to follow you, but you're not... Okay, here we go. You're not actually going anywhere. Ah, but anyway, yeah, isn't isn't rain in in like you know hot spots like this generally a bad idea? Is, isn't that really bad? <laughs> and yeah, I do need to charge on my light as well, probably. <laughs> okay, just just sitting there like, no, don't need that. Yeah, I'm gonna swap that mask. This one might be less broken. Yeah, it is. Awesome. Burn all the spiders. Burn them all. Burn them all. Burn the heretic. Let's go out to the light. So dead Nozalis. Hmm. Weird, I don't know why that triggered me a little doobie. Oh wow, I actually got an achievement called Pyromaniac for burning all those spiderwebs. Love it. Love the fact that that's an achievement. Can we go in here? No. Okay. Alright, we'll just move on. What's in here? A dead Nozalis. That's a whole thing. You get one behind me? Is that what's gonna happen here? Noise. Oh, it's one of the sweet helmets. Oh, and, and a better shotgun. Excellent. Oh, well. Okay, never mind that. Barbo! Help, Barbo! I'm... Or you know what? Never mind. Never mind. We, we got it. Ah, uh, okay. So we'll swap that for this. Because we're definitely going to want an actual, like, assault rifle. Something long-ranged. That, that's not just the pistol. You get your work. You're all covered with blood. No, I'm fine. See, look, see. Nice. Thanks. Just, just keep wiping. Stop. Get down now. Watchman. You are a huge bag. The storm must be driving them. If this happens, we'll be ripped to shreds. I mean, maybe you will. I, I believe in it. That was close. Okay, Artyom. No more tricks like that. Let's get I got an achievement for that. Called Mouse. I wonder right. if you can actually step out there. And just, oh. um, like, kill them all. And I you get, like, Lion, I guess, or something. Weird... That, that would be my guess. Hey, try opening it. I'll give cover. Wow, yeah, no way you would be able to open that. Yeah, let's try together. Moving. Eh. Yeah, there's, there's no way that would open. Do you have any idea how heavy those doors Look, are? Jim, don't lose your head in here. You understand me? Okay, let's go. What, what was that? Nice. Another filter. Always like that. Okay, Artyom's getting weird flashbacks. I, that feel, I don't know, I feel weird. I mean that's the thing with Metro, right? Like it's really there's like this really weird Dude, supernatural car. Artyom, what is this? What? Shoo are you! Look! They're alive! I mean, I'm seeing flashes. I wouldn't say they're alive. Okay, well, Alright, now maybe I can. Yeah, isn't that a thing with Metro? Like, it definitely isn't the first one. Shit! We're losing power! Engines are dead! What? Can I actually look around? Yeah, I can. Shit! The tower's gone! We're going down! 
Holy Jesus. I mean, no way, though. Isn't that, as a general rule, like, if you can see the flash of a nuclear uh, detonation, like, you're already dead or something? Isn't, isn't that pretty much how it goes? Like, if you can see it, you're already gone. Like, you're, you're so dead. Well, I think you might... Anyway, sorry, I'm like getting across, getting away from the point every time. Um, especially in the first one, there's like that weird supernatural element to it. Uh, I hope you're in a sec, Pavel. We're just gonna look at this. The red line is one of the biggest and strongest states in the metro, occupying almost a whole line. But for as long as I can remember, the Reds always used to preach that their goal was the installation of communism throughout the whole of the metro. The restoration of a destroyed state that used to be based on the ideals of equality and justice. The problem is, the independent stations keep their distance from the Red Line as best they can, which means they can't restore the Red State without strife. Yes, the Reds are no angels, but what the Nazis are doing is regular horror. And I'm happy to have an ally like Pavel, even if he's Red. Breathe! Breathe. Yeah, put your mask back on. Yeah, just smack. Just put it on, Pavel. Damn it, man. Just put the goddamn mask on. That was weird, though. Because that was the whole thing with Khan. Is that he's very, like, spiritual. And believes in, in the first one you had like the ghosts and shit that were walking around the tunnels that were like shadows. No, well, if you insist. I. Okay, I don't know if I like the changes they made here. In terms of. In terms of, like, the surface exploration... Because, I mean, this this is cool and all, but you really don't have to keep track of your filters as much. Whereas, like, in the first one, you know, you always had that ticking clock. Can I check it? No, see, so like, T just changes filter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check this right now. Is there a check watch bot? Because there should be. Uh, inventory. Medkit, night vision, time. It's Y. Yeah, I, I don't know. It Has that changed from the first one? It feels like it has. It feels like in the first one it was a lot more focused on giving you an actual, like, time. And it was a lot more pushy, whereas this one, the filters seem to last no time at all. Yeah, the uh, the filters in this seem to last no time at all, so... You just, you're constantly changing them. Come on. I got shotguns for days, fellas. Shotguns for days. Ugh. Ugh. It, it is still kind of hard to tell when you've actually killed them. Which I like. There's one of the things about Nosalis is in... There's one of the things in Metro 2033 with the Nosalis is that they would just... They had very indistinct death animations. So like... Give me a hand! You, you would constantly waste just more bullets, and it felt really realistic, just like... Sorry, I, I'm like trying to think and fight at the same time. They, um... It felt really realistic, and like, if you are in that situation, you would always probably put more into them than you needed. Because like, you could never be sure whether they were actually dead, right? You wouldn't want to leave them alive. By accident. Why? Okay, I don't know why my gun is setting them on fire. 
Oh my god, there is so much happening right now. Ugh, get to this corner. Ugh. Okay, there we go. We good? Nope, there's another one. Another couple. Oh my god, there are so many! Oh my god, inject please. Oh wow. That feels scripted though. Yeah, okay. Okay, it was scripted. I was like, wow, he just jumped on me and killed my ass, but no, we're fine. God, look at that. That looks fucking cool. I wanna be those guys. I mean, Pablo, you're right, but I don't want them with me from now on. Like, they were cool. Our short visit to dead Moscow, the phantom of the past, is over. Pavel and I helped each other out again, and are returning down to the metro as real partners now. You can't survive the wastelands any other way. But now ahead of us lies a populated station, the theater. It's very close to Polis. If Pavel manages to lead me through the red line guard posts, I'll be home in less than an hour. Well, we know that's not gonna happen. That's that's not how Artyom goes. God, look at him. Look at this guy. You look like real Russian beast. I love you. You want a nightmare? Why it's waiting for you up there? No sense going with just three men. Oh my god, you're so cool. We're clear a nest. We need a couple squads at least. So what now? You're not going? Yoink. Let's take that key. Sure there's a safe around here. So that's what they're for. They're for safes. Okay. Good, good. I, I get that now. So I need to look for a safe. Any safe. Artyomich, so, if it's culture you want, the Bolshoi is up there above us. All the actors who survived are here. <laughs> well, people come from all over the metro to see the shows they put on. Cool. I like that. It's good world building in Metro, there really is. I guess it's because it's based so, on a book. The so, station next to this one is you know, the, the book already has lots of world of building in it. Red. And Revolution is speeding distance to Polis. So, I, as a good communist, which I am, will vouch for you. They'll have to let you through, and you'll be home in no time. What do you think? I think this doesn't sound like a good about. idea. Yes, we are. Great. Come in, then. So, my Spartan friend, have a look around. There's plenty to see here, huh? I'll talk to my people and find you. I mean... Have a good rest. But you do understand that we can't wait. Look, I'm either going to get betrayed, or this is going to be a classic case of, like, Pavel is overselling his connections. Pavel needs some time to set everything up. The citizens of other stations need a permit to enter the red line. Well, at least they're not Nazi, like, they're, they're not killing everyone. Um, the state in permanent preparation for war readily sees a spy in any outsider. So I have some time to look around the theater. This station is a real legend of the Metro, not unlike Polis. The difference being that while Polis gathered most of the surviving scientists, the theater is considered to be the cultural capital of the Metro. Cool. But yeah, I mean, something's gonna happen here, right? Like, something's really gonna happen here. Why can't they just grow pigs down here? Or grow pigs? Raise pigs? You raise an animal, you don't grow an animal. Can I go this way? No. Although they don't look like very happy pigs. Doesn't really shock me though. Bullets for the last surviving theatrical critic. Bullets for mercy on your souls. Sure. So, young men, I see you like my witty side. Yeah, well, was it? Arms of the man shunned by the brave new world. Huh. Murderers, poor, styrers, money changers, even peasants, for Christ's sake. <laughs> All are welcome here. Even lousy actors. Nice. I live in a theater where we breathe the miasma of the decaying Balfour. This station is overpopulated with the ghosts of the opera. But is there a place here for the best critic of our... Oh, so he's, uh, he was a film critic, or like a... Theater critic. I tell the truth. Nice. And I am repaid with insults and poverty? I say you are a disgrace to the name of Bolshoi. Yeah, that's so and weird. Yeah. Now I love that some of these post apocalyptic things like this, where you sit there and go, think of all these jobs in in life at the moment that would just not be necessary in an apocalypse. If if society as we know it just collapsed. There's so many jobs that are just not 
that. Like, it, it's a really... It's a cultural thing, or it's a societal thing that you do, or... All this stuff, and you have, like, no other skills. I mean, you're still talking. I want to sit here and listen to you, but... What remains is I want to move this along as well. And so my own hunger persists. Will you honor what we've lost by perhaps donating a bullet? Sure. Uh, so there are still men, not just marionettes. It's just bullets. Yeah, so am I using... I disgust myself. Am I using the good bullets or the bad bullets? Because they were getting, like, set on fire and stuff. And that's... Kind of weird. Uh, are there shops here? Hello there, ladies. Milady. Oh, cool. Papa, uh, shadow puppets. Nice juggling. Love it. And there's, there's, look, there's Dimitri Glukovsky's books. Metro 2035, Metro 2033, Metro 2034. That's a little Easter egg. Ah, market. Here we go. This, this is what we want. When do we become mutant father? There we go. Okay. What have we got here? Secondary. Okay, we don't need any of that. Ammo. We don't need any of that either. I need actual guns. Fish. No. Love it. Ah, there we go. Guns. Right, right, right. So what do we got? So you got some sort of shotgun and a bastard gun. Customize them. Then extended barrel sounds fun. Yeah, the duplet's kind of always useful, so I don't feel bad about upgrading that. Oh no, we've already got it. And then... Customize these. We could put a side on it, I don't really care. Extend barrel, no. Misc. Yeah, see, so we can put a thing, stock and four in. Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Again, the revolver, this this revolver, and the shotgun are sort of mainstays. Like, you're never going to be disappointed in those. Ah, there we go. The IR side, that's what we have. It's got a suppressor, and we could put an actual stock on it. But that's one thing I don't want to do. Because usually, like, bastard guns, you get rid of them as soon as you can. Because you will find better weapons, like, straight away. Ugh. A stalker, you say? Right, because these... This and stalker are, like, very reminiscent of each other, right? And that's... I don't know if it's... Not an Easter egg, but, like, a reference to... To the stalker series that... Isn't it people that walk up on the surface called stalkers? Even though the universes are completely different. Um... But it's like a nod to, you know, other good Russian slash Ukrainian media. No wonder. The world famous Bolshoi Theater is right above that station. The rumors that there are underground passages from its basement into the metro, and that's the reason why many of its actors and other staff were able to save themselves on Judgment Day. They founded a new Bolshoi down here at the station. It is the theater rumors of which reach... It is the theater... What? It is the theater rumors... Of which reach even the farthest corners of the metro. That's not a good sentence. And since the habitable world ends where the metro lines end, you could say that the new Bolshoi is also known around the world. Some say it actually preserves the tradition of its great predecessor. They say that the earth continues to spin while the Bolshoi still puts on the shows. How I wish to see one of those. Perhaps I finally got my chance. I don't know. It's prohibited. Maybe I'll just get a drink instead. Can I? Okay, maybe not. This is 
Nice. Okay, well, I guess I, I don't get to. Okay. Sure. God, we are gonna get, like, captured, beaten up or something. Show me your tickets! Did you hear Oh, sure. Come in. Well, Stanislavski, you can watch the show if you like. I'll wait for you at the dressing room. Weird. Yeah, Pavel... Ugh, I don't know what I think about Pavel now. It's gotten real suspicious since we uh, got back to... Go back to here. Like, he's got a weird pass that just lets him in, and they're just like... It's like he's a superior officer, like, they sort of sit there and go like, Oh, um, okay. Nice. Oh yeah, hold up, I'll just uh, get a front row seat. Yes. Yes, keep, uh, keep going. Okay, we're getting... <laughs> I say we get demonetized, but I'm not even monetized in the first place. But, uh, wow, those jiggle physics, they're really... Really physicking. They're really physicking a bit too hard. Hello there, everyone. What's wrong with your mouth? Oh, it's really weird from the frost. I'm totally in love with you girls, but I've been busy with work. Very, very I'll come back don't mind me. I promise. Yeah, please, please just ignore. This is yeah, I It's no good. Why can't your boyfriend buy you something better? Sorry, sorry. Uh, well, what was I saying? Just I, I got distracted. <laughs> No, um... Shut up, Pavel. You don't... you don't know me. I wasn't looking at nothing. Uh, he hello there, L ladies. L ladies? Do you need a hand? To, to wash your... No, okay. it's, it's fine. It's fine. Back to the lonely wastes, I guess. Anyways. I tell you, we should be going, but uh, let's drink to the fact we are still alive, huh? Tell me, okay? That is so suspicious. No, how about we just go? Pavel, are you gonna like capture me or something? that's great. So, let's drink, How about you drink first? <laughs> Smooth stuff, huh? And this is a good place, but yeah, home is the best, you know? You know yeah, Pablo, you're really getting me unsettled all here. All kinds of shit about the red line, and that it's awful there, there's no food, and we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke. Because this is like. Arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Here goes, Artyom! This is like you've talked to someone and they're like, we'll let you back, and we won't shoot you. We won't hand you over to the so, NKVD. Yes, but life is a bit strict. One you need to one leader, one you need to hand over the ranger or something. Them. And everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter, no rich men, true. But no beggars either. Another drink. I'm waiting for the to equality. Come on, Artyom. No 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 no, pay that now. I'm wondering when the other shoe's gonna drop. Ah, uh, where was I? Uh yes. Yes, look, look at the far stations. The freaking mm, easy See, now you're starting to talk about order. Slaves. It's like the Stone Age. Left to his own device is a man Suspect. becomes a beast, you know? Order, order is all that matters. That's, that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but is, I... Is everyone else getting that feeling? I am red until the day I die. I drink to order. See, and now you're going on about, like... Come on, Artyom, come on! Bottoms up! Bottoms up! Are you talking about how red you are? Yep. So, Hi, everyone. Friend. That's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artyom. Just doing my job. Told ya. The red line. Wow, Anyone? that guy's got a really Muskizzi round head. Or from the wrong side of the barricade. Privates, take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. 
Yeah, see? That was... Welcome back, Comrade Major. It is private. Yep. It was like, that was a classic. It was like, don't let the other person stall when you're about to leave. Just go, uh, no, how about we just, uh, move on. musketeer saying, just you wait, and we'll get even. I wonder, though, why did Pavel go through the trouble of trapping me? It's a good question, but it's, it's obviously something to do with the rangers, because otherwise, what's the point? Hey, stop that, bleh! It's just being over enthusiastic. Yeah, I should have known you were someone important from the start. Look, I think of you as my friend, really. But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you, okay? Now, you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. Hmm. You're a major. You're high enough up there that you can make the orders. What a load. At ease, Tavarish. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops. The Secretary General here? What about Comrade Korn? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Opa, it's my lucky day, huh? Okay, things are moving faster than we anticipated. Look, Move it! Yes, yeah, they want to interrogate me. understand there is no such thing as coincidence. You are here because we need you. We have information. So, my advice to you, my friend? Cooperate. Okay. The only other thing I can Don't think. Worry. I got your back. Because we are what? Musketeers! All for one and one. The only other thing I can think is this is the only way Pavel could let their motto is all for us. Let us see. coming, my friend. That bunker you guys found, whoever controls it survives and fuck the rest. Right. But we have been preparing for this. And I want you to join us. Right, this is all about D6, because that's where the Rangers are holed up now, and that's where, like, all the special pre-war or pre-apocalypse, like, weapons and shit is. Right. Good day, Comrade General. Man, he looks like a character. I was beginning to think you had not survived your mission. I was captured, Comrade Corbett. This Ranger here, uh, saved me. What a coincidence. He's Nitsky, one of the Spartan Rangers. Do you know this man? Yes, sir. His name is Artyom. Miller trusts him. Interesting. The six together. So the Rangers have a spy. since officially enlisting with the order. Well, I am overjoyed to meet you, Comrade Artyom. I think we both have something to offer. Take the comrade for the negotiation room. <laughs> That's. That's a word for it, I'm sure. The old negotiation room, where all those friendly negotiations happen. Let's dispense with the evil doctor probing and cut the chase. Hmm? Yeah. This telepathic mutant, the so-called Dark One, is of extreme scientific significance. Tell me all you know about it, and I will allow you to keep your life and the your dark with the Rangers. <laughs> but as my spy, an operative. Yeah. Okay. Just like those uh, musketeers. One for all, and all for... God, if Pavel has actually betrayed me. Corbut, I need a moment. And what do we have here? Another enemy of the revolution? <laughs> Perfect. As you have always noted, Lonya must start learning how to improve his, uh, people's... Needs. Yeah, I... like... As a matter of fact, we were... Yeah. Put away your truth serums. It's such an interesting, just like flip on Pavel. Faster. It wouldn't surprise me if that if that is a case, but it also wouldn't surprise me if this turns out that it's like the only way Pavel could get me in. Tell everything you know of these six. I'm a bit worried about the Hitler mustache. You think? You think they'd still be a bit salty about that, and they'd like make him shave it off? Or I'll fry your balls in pig fat. Passwords, code names, operation protocols. What are you doing, Dad? This is called interrogation, Lonya. Interrogation. Thought it was called negotiation. Business as usual. What? You never did that playing dolls? No. You little shit. There's no power. Oh my God. Ah, <laughs> uh, hi. I'm the uh. 
and they still love him. Get back here! You're a thug. God damn it! Hi guys, uh, I'm your prisoner, but I don't need to deal with a domestic. Use hot pokers. Just get everything out of him and shoot the bastard. And then come to my office. We must talk. Come back here! Hi there. I must agree with Leonid. Brutality is a crooked path to information. I believe in science. One injection and you will tell us everything. Hmm, that's not good. Yeah, fucking Pavel, man. Like, we're getting a lot of Artyom's, like, childhood, but, like, kind of? It's so disconnected and disjointed, it's hard to follow. Is he gonna get saved by a dark one or something? Yeah. That, that would explain a lot. Why they try to talk to him and stuff. That's... Yeah. It's a, it's a bit of a twist, but not really. And this is going to mean that they're probably going to be super suspicious of him. They're going to be like, you're some sort of mutant. And take care of the locals who made the delivery. This will not be a cash payment. Understand? Completely, sir. And, mm. uh, See? And here's Pavel. The creature has been located. The details are in this envelope. You will pick up the animal right after you go to Venice. Don't disappoint me this time. I won't, Comrade General. I, uh, I won't. Hmm. Fuck Corbett. Fuck my father. And my Oh, and the hello there. And my own future. I'd rather be shot and end up like father, killing his own brother. Listen, if you get out of here, just, well, just live. Oh, okay. Well, don't don't give me any help or anything. Get in there. This is the way to freedom. Believe me, I know. <laughs> I spent all my childhood hiding from my father in those vents. All right. Well, we are going to leave this episode here. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. If you think you know any friends might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video too with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comment section down below so I can see it. And we will hopefully escape this place and get some revenge on Pavel in the next episode. Goodbye.